Hi everyone, Andrea Vall here, co-author of Facebook Marketing All-in-One for Dummies, just in case you didn't know that. Here we are, we're gonna talk about the Facebook Ads Overview because I find that people sometimes aren't sure even where to look in the Facebook Ads Manager, aren't sure how to find it, aren't sure what they're looking at, so I'm gonna give you a big overview and explain a few of the things with the navigation, what they are, so that it's not so overwhelming. So if you've run Facebook ads before, you may have just done it by boosting posts. And that's great, you can boost a post from your Facebook page, but there's so much more to Facebook ads that can improve your results dramatically when you use the Facebook Ads Manager. Let's just look up at what you might have seen in the past as far as your stats. So maybe you've boosted a post, you might have looked at the promotion here to see what's happening, get the details on how the promotion's doing, um, and you might have also seen that in your uh, insights section. You can see when you've run posts right from the main page, you scroll down, you see some of the boosted posts, see how they've done, reviewed the results here, and uh, gotten some details. Now, the problem is with this is that you might have to do some math to figure out, okay, how much was this really costing me? Uh, and, and was this really worth it? And I don't want you to have to do math, okay? So let's go into the ads manager so you, the math is done for you. And you really can dive into the stats to figure out, was this ad really performing well? So to, to get to the ads manager from any screen on the Facebook uh, page on your profile or on your uh, if you're on your Facebook page also anywhere you'll just go down to the manage ads areas and click on that and when you get to that you're going to uh, get to this screen and there's a lot of information there possibly if you haven't run ads before then maybe there's nothing there the all of your boosted posts are in there so all the data from a boosted post is showing, and you can see here, this one says post, and then it has the first few words of what that post was, so you can remember what that post was about. And then it'll break down this information. I was getting 249 per link click, which is not that great for that post, but if I look at the conversions, I was actually uh, doing a little bit better, and I don't have the right screen here for the conversions because it defaults to performance or performance in clicks. If I go down to the report I've created for website conversions, I can see that I'm getting uh, $3.11 per website conversion. Not bad for, for some of the other ads that I'm running, so that was that is good results for me. Uh, and you always have to benchmark against yourself. So what we have, just to kind of back up around what we're looking at, we're looking at the campaign level, and ads have campaign level, ad set, and ad level. So you, you can navigate to each of those and see different details based on what you have set up, and you can go in and edit that and view some of that and, and really dive a little bit deeper into that area. So the other thing that's here is the account overview, and that gives you details about how much you've spent over time, what kind of performance you've seen, and that can be helpful to look at from time to time. Up in the upper left corner is the critical menu, and it's not even that, it's in that clear. This is called a hamburger menu up here. There's three lines, apparently. I did not know that. So now every time I look at it, I think of hamburgers. So it's got this little three lines, and that's a menu uh, that you can access and it pulls down kind of the frequently used, but you have to mouse over this all tools to really see everything that you can access in the ads manager. And it's got things for planning, which is really um, the audience insights area is good for research. You've got a campaign planner, a creative hub where you can save ads and uh, put them into a little um, draft mode. And then from the Create Manage, you access different things like Power Editor, Business Manager, Ads Manager, and uh, there's lots to do with all of those. There's some automated rules that you can set up around your campaigns. And then you've got the analytics and your pixel information down here as well. The ads reporting is really basically what we're looking at here when we go to the default ads screen. And then the assets has 
the audiences you create for retargeting, maybe any custom audiences that you upload, such as email or, or engagement retargeting, that's where that lives. The images are images you use for your ads, and catalogs is really for uh, advanced users who might be setting up a lot of products at once. Then you've got your settings over here, and you can access that to make sure your billing is working correctly and connected properly. So that's the menu, and there's lots more, like I said, in that menu. I wanna just highlight a couple other things here. One is the search, and this really helps when you can't remember how you titled a campaign or if there was a post that you boosted a while ago that you wanna go look at, you can just do a search by the post first few uh, words of that and see that boosted post. I like to use the filters quite a bit and only filter on the ads that have had delivery in the time frame I'm looking at. Because sometimes I wanna look at, let's just look at last week's ads or the last seven days or last week's actually, and I'll update that to see what was running. And then I'll filter out just the ads that were running that week. There they are. So had some ads running this week, how did they do? What kind of conversions did they get? And then I might compare that to the time frame this week and say, am I improving this week over last week, just looking at the stats? So that's how I'm using some of this, uh, some of these filtering. And then the time frame is important because you do want to compare your ads between times um, and see, or maybe you're searching for some particular ads as well and looking at them over a certain time. And this can also make a big difference if you're looking at your ads and you've got it filtered to only show yesterday and the ads that you started today aren't showing there because they're not, they didn't have any delivery yesterday. So if you're kind of freaking out about where did my ads go, look at the uh, date range that you have set up because that can often make a difference in what you're viewing. And the next area here, and this is goes really deep is really kind of viewing all the columns that you've got. You can set up what you're looking at. So you're watching your, the stats that really make a difference to you. And then the breakdown report can really go into what segments of uh, users were really responding to my ad. You can break it down by, uh, by country, by age range, by gender, by uh, placement, all kinds of good stuff there. And then the export is good for downloading all this data, or you can share a report with someone else who would have visibility into this, into your ads manager, so that they can see this custom report that you've set up. And then one last thing to note here is this section right here that will show you more information about whatever you have checked on the side. So for example, I need to check something and I'm at the ad level here. I need to check something before I can then view it in this mode. And then I can see the performance, the demographics, the placement here. And I can also um, take a look at um, you know, how it's doing. I'm actually on this one, I'm only targeting women. So you can see what kind of demographics are responding. You can see what kind of performance we're getting here. And then you can also see, uh, edit the ad if you need to. You don't want to edit an ad that's running though. Just, um, you know, create a new ad. That's the big tip right there. Cause uh, you'll, uh, don't want to mess up that ad. You want to have fresh stats so it's clear. And then the other thing you can see from here is when items have been changed, what's been, if someone's been working on an ad or something like that. So this uh, little menu item is going to be different depending on if you are at the ad set level, campaign level, or ad level, you have to check that box and then uh, get the details on that here. So that's kind of a high level tour. There's so much more to Facebook ads, but I just want to make sure that it doesn't look too scary and overwhelming and you know where to find things. So thanks everyone. Talk to you again soon.